Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a parameterized job in Jenkins. Uh, first, I've created a new directory structure in my home page. The, the root folder is called parameter param underscore job. Inside, I've created also a dev and prod folders as I did in the last job. So I'm going to get into dev and create a new job. In this case, curl it this way and select a freestyle project. Click OK. Redirect me to the configuration page for that job in description. I'll set a brief of the of the job. Very simple. But what we need to select in this case is this check mark. This project is parameterized. After we mark this one, we need to add a parameter to use in the job. We have many, many built-in parameters to, to, to select. I'll explain more in future videos. In this case, I'm going to use string parameter. So I'm adding this one. Here is the, the parameter name. I'm setting as app name with no no default values. Also, I'm going to add a second one called version. In this case, I'm going to select 1.0. It can be empty. It, it can be it can be set for any default value as well. Okay, going to go down directly to build section. I'm going to execute the shell. This will be a very basic as well as we did the other in the other video. This is the way that we can use the parameters specified in the above section. Is those are being used like a regular environmental variables in Linux or in Windows. We we can um, reference to them with the dollar sign. Okay, so I'm going to save, save these changes. And as you can see, the menu is a bit different than that we have before. Let me show you quick in the last job, the first job we created. My first job, you can see the option build now. This is because it doesn't have any parameter to specify by the user. But if I go back to the parameter set job, going to dev, you can see the same icon, but is built with parameters. I'm going to select that, and the user can select any any value to display or to be used inside the job. In this case, let's say. Python app, and I'm going to build version 2. Then I'm going to click build. It build and it will execute the, the, the instructions I gave to the job. Let's see the console output. You can see the two commands I've specified in the in the section 
executing and it converts the the parameter I just passed in the in the main in the main section to the actual value and it will display the actual result for that for that statement same for the second command executing building version 2.0 and this is the output for that command okay parametric jobs are very useful when you want to create several applications by using the same job that way you can just specify different parameters to build different things by using the same builder uh, also these parameters uh, these parameters can be called by an external application or an external api or an external program let's say you want to start your build by a shell script and you can do it by specifying all the 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 parameters the job um, the job url and a token and another thing that is called um, the Chrome. We are going to see this in a in a future videos. Uh, if you like to learn to about any other topic or you want to keep learning about Jenkins and DevOps tools, please subscribe and let me know in the comments. Thanks.